Hi, I just wanted to wish you all a happy Easter. This is the day when the Christ arose out of the tomb, came back to us in a way that maybe has been misunderstood by many, and maybe not. But why don't we make this day available for our inner Christ to arise and come back? Luckily, your inner Christ, our Christ consciousness, has never left. Unfortunately, we have been leaving it over and over and over. And maybe today is a really good day to just make ourselves available for our own Christhood, our own inner Christ consciousness that lives inside of us, that is who and what we are, not separate, not something we need to attain. It really is something we need to get quiet around and open up to. It's like open up a portal for this inner wisdom, this inner love, this inner spirit and allow it to come back out, allow it to rise up to the occasion. And as probably most of us know, the occasion is that the frequencies and the energies are very low in this so-called world that seems so real to us. And it reminds me of something that Joe Goldsmith, uh, I've heard him say in the past, he said, you cannot pin Christ onto your humanhood. Now that's kind of a funny thing to say, right? It's like, you take a push pin and you, you pin Christ onto our humanhood. And in reality, they're two very different things. They're two very different ways of perceiving what is here. What we experience as our humanhood is what is experienced through our five sense mind, through our senses. When we experience our Christhood, it's experienced through our soul faculty or our soul sense. And the two are, are very different because one is invisible and the other is visible. And it's like, water and oil maybe it's it's like they don't blend even though that might be misunderstood by some uh, I want to say it anyway in my experience there has to be a point where we are ready and willing to drop this false identity you can't put spirit or Christhood into something that is an illusion. And I talked about the illusion recently, that it is a very different experience than who we really are. And many of us, we live out here as if we are that false identity, as if we are that illusion, and then we try and, you know, bring spirit to it or somehow. And there, it might benefit uh, to do that. I, I'm not an expert on that. But I think that's what Joel meant by saying you can't take the Christhood and pin it onto something that doesn't really exist, except as a misconception in our mind. So the invitation would be, of course, as I always talk about, is to start letting go of the grip of our senses, the five sense mind. It's holding on to something that we think is real. And fortunately, it is not. It seems like it's real. And we think we need to improve it and it will be helpful to bring God, Spirit, Christ onto it. But would you be willing to consider 
a different way. Instead of trying to put spirit onto something that really only exists as a misperceived thought in our mind, as a hypnotic suggestion, that it's not real, it's a suggestion. Instead of doing that, be curious about who am I really? Who am I outside of this misperception that I have taken myself to be most of my life, all of my life, and just be open? And wouldn't that be a beautiful way to allow the Christ, your inner Christ, the Christ consciousness, to rise up today, rise up out of the tomb of our self-made prison or tomb that we have created and accepted in our minds. And then instead, just let it rise out of the tomb of your and my misperception of who we are. That'd be beautiful. At least give it a try. Give yourself to that and see what happens.